So if I find the son of a gun who did this, I'm gonna pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Yo, dude got quiet fast. Whoa! <laughs> Rest in peace indeed. I had a feeling, I, when, when they said switch rooms, I was like, wait a second, hold up. If she dies while in his room, that's not going to look good for our dude. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. This ceiling I remember seeing before. When I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. And again, it was someone I'd seen before. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> Yikes! Ay, ay, ay! <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, you're awake. Finally, are you okay? Now's no time for sleeping. Get your butt up. Huh? Uh, um... You're unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. It's no surprise concerning what happened. Maybe it was him again. What happened? Ah! Ah! Hey, are you okay? So, it wasn't a dream. What I saw, it was real. Hmm. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. You have to rub it in my face like that? A deep... Dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. Pause. I shook up and she took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see myself. I have to see if Sayaka is. If Sayaka is. Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely, irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. What? Listen to us, man. What, what do you think is going to happen if you go out there? What kids are going to be sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Saika, she's... She's dead! Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now, either. Then why? Sh shouldn't it be obvious? Mono Kuma, he told us to all c come here. We should listen to anything he has to say. It's obvious he's the one who killed Saika. Wrong! <laughs> he said... Wrong. I would never do that. You have to believe. You, if you can't believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> He's here again. Hey, Unless someone violates the school regulations, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. But then, who did it? Who killed her? Come on. You already know the answer. Don't you dare! Don't you dare turn the tables on me like that. The one that killed her is one of you. Oh. Thank you for that. Thank you, Monokuma. Nope. Oh. Haha. <laughs> okay. Nobody had to reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka. Don't be stupid. That's. Wah wah. Wah When have you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate? Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What? What is this? Someone? Someone killed someone? <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. One of us really did kill her. That person gets to graduate from school, right? Huh? huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> yeah, so why aren't they leaving? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cause... <laughs> naive! You're just so naive! You really- you think it's really that easy? You could just kill someone and just waltz out of here? Hey, yeah, I was right, that would just be a- That's just a real bad royale! You're stupid, naive! Devilishly naive! Nevilishly naive! Oh, that's hellishly naive, okay. <laughs> no, no, no! The real thing has just begun! The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do do that, there's still one more part of the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations? Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate unless... Unless they're discovered, yeah. In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to kill someone, you have to actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been got it's been gotten away with. 
So a certain amount of time after murder is taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Yup. It'll be a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. So they, and they, the spot student, will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. Okay. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. Popular vote, okay. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. Mm. The rest may continue their communal life. Okay. However, if you choose poorly, poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Mm. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. Mm -hmm. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Wow. Well. So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, it's execution. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. What? And by execution, you mean how so? Like execution is execution. Execution. <laughs> like does lethal poisoning, shot, crushed, guillotine. To make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed. Well, what a smart little champ to see you are. Look at you and find that. You didn't do it without... Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. The new world has been added to the regulation menu. Hey. Well, wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking You're freaking insane, you know that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! <laughs> what do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? what? Are you saying you're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark tier prison or something. Shut the hell up! <laughs> whatever, say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it! <laughs> I don't believe it too. Like, it. you're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. This has got nothing to do with me. <sighs> the evil standing here before me. I'm trembling with fear. Uh, but I won't give to, into such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist to the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging as, although it was more like of a waddle. But and then... Oh! Violence against Headmaster Monica Ooh, you did. Violated a school regulation. Oh, boy. Gung near. Ooh. Oh, snap. Rest in peace. This wasn't supposed to why me. <laughs> what do you think? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes wa shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. Well, no <laughs> what the? <laughs> For we Whoa! For yo! <laughs> Just like that? Yeah. Well, now. For real? Now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning as of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. <laughs> but I guess you need to be taught a lesson. After all, ah, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Uh-huh. Yeah. And you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. Et yep. So if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey. Well those what if she was the killer? Do we have to prove that she was the one through a trial or something? And <laughs> can we just do that by popular vote and <laughs> see? <laughs> well actually no, because if we're wrong then we'll all die, so never mind. It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. We went, just went and died. It's no more remarkable than 
the inevitable demise of an entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. I have something I'd like to give to you to help you in your search for the Blackened. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I'd like to call it. It's the Monokuma file! Mm -hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing, so you can only do so much with a corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and cause of death. What's that? How do I know about the cause of death, you ask? Concerned? Oh, surveillance cameras. Picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial. How Now could I? Yeah. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Now then, please put your effort, full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Jinko's dead body, growing colder, right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Saika and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But then there is more than that. It was also the idea that someone had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We'd find ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation unimaginable. And yet, even in such a perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now's not the time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing that we could do right now is lose faith in each other. That leads to the same disastrous result as total faith in everyone else. What? Yeah, what? In other words, cooperation is absolutely the key at this point. Who do you who you decide to trust or not trust in? Of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the sea certainly isn't going to help. Any. Yeah, true. We have to keep moving forward. You know, saying stuff like that is just. How many times have, to to have I told you, anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting for those who are unable to or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> no, you continually adapt to the situation. If that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible. What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. True, all of us will die. She is right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in heck am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it. Let's do this. On top of that, there's something I needed to find out. I didn't know I saw it. It's not like I had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out. Terrified to find out. But still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why. I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Man, this is getting good. So someone killed Sayaka. Hold up, but who do I think is the killer? Before before we do anything else? If I were to make a prediction. Who I don't... I know it's not. I don't think it's him. Yet. I don't think it's him either. He seems too chill. I don't think it's Kyoko. I don't think it'd be her either. Toko, the roommate? The next door neighbor? Hmm. I can't see it being Sakura. With a knife though? It's easy to stab. But then again, it could be anyone really. It could be Leon. Leon, yo, he was really mad the other day too. Mondo? Is stabbing his style? I don't know. Yakuya. I feel like he'd think it through. Or bury it, like I was saying before, I feel like he would like use someone else, like try and manipulate them or something, but I don't know. Bye barrel! Hey, you're dead. Yo, the music today is... Oh yeah, she died. She said, I'm done with this crap. I gently placed my hand on Junko, Junko's life, lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for her pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... Oh, she, she really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. Yo, I'm in the mood today. I don't know why you're even bothering to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, why are you so smug about it? Shut up! Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Just, just wait a second. 
she she's dead then that means that means everything that's happening so far is real oh so he's thinking he's having a premonition dream and whatnot it's not a joke or whatever it's really real really real wrestling Hex, no so someone help me let me out of here somebody help me you're just just accepting that okay let's talk to everyone what you got kyoko we start searching for Saika's killer. We need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking about putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, aren't you? After all, the culprit decides to... He's really... He's talking a lot right now. What, why are you talking so much right now? Why? You want to be in charge? We're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Well, no. We can't just leave him here there alone. What? Yeah, why the heck not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious that you're the culprit? That's what, I mean, he's right. I was thinking about that too. But at the same time, I don't want you either. By volunteering for duty, you're in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <sighs> what? Hex you. So then. Fine, then I will stay here on duty. <laughs> Guard duty as well. That way, there's no problem. Two player caught base defense with the two of them with the stats, they're totally OP. Okay, yeah, they, they are like the strongest two that we've seen so far. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. Okay. I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay, I appreciate that. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna say this now before anything else is revealed. I do know a spoiler on a character. I know a spoiler regarding this character. I just know that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not a big spoiler, it's just an aspect about the character I know. So whenever something pops up, I'm not gonna... If I don't sound surprised, I'm, it's, I know. <laughs> okay, Celeste, what's up? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, it's what? What the crap? Yeah, what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and there's something very obvious and very unusual. Yeah, what are you talking about? Go ahead and take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? Yo, I'm about to, I knew this was going to be a problem. Uh. Yeah, she's right. Eh? Then could it be? Hold up, hold up, hold up. All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Oh, hold on a second. You've got it all wrong. For, for just one night, I traded runes with her. Mm. I did it because she was afraid. You, you, you don't have no right to speak. You're weird. <laughs> The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few moments minutes earlier. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? So I have to clear my name, basically. So then. Um, no, I didn't finish talking to everyone. But okay, we need to begin our investigation soon. In fact, I didn't want to talk to anyone else. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who the killed Sayaka. We have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong. So well, do I really have to say any more? Huh. Goodbye. Okay, hey, can I go with? Dang. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. Oh. And just like that, Kyoko, he was gone. Okay. Yo. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep, okay, we got hey, these two on guard duty. What? If whatever son of a gun did this right here, right now, and they think I was destroying that evidence? They'd better not let me find them. I'll skip the chunk. <laughs> Yo, he said I'll, I'll body them myself. I'm serious. I will mess them up. Okay. Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sa Sakura ran off. But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, and we're going to investigate the murder. How do we even know something like that? Anyway. We don't really have to do anything in particular. We, we already know who could kill. Yo, shut up. What are you implying? Yes, yeah, speak up. This you got something to say. Very suspicious. On what basis? I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. Don't come any closer. Are you gonna go kill me next? You know what? I can't wait till I'm proven innocent. Well, well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not sure. It's not for sure that. Okay, thank you. Um... Well, that's true. We might as well at least check, just to, at least check just to check. Even though I will want to, I couldn't help to investigate. Aww. It was your problem. I'm not good good with the blood. It takes one, one glimpse and I black out. So what about Junko over here? Did you pass out just for a second? Oh yeah? Whatever. I don't think anyone's expecting much from you anyway. 
Ain't that the truth, Leon? Yo, knuckles to you, bro. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've got it all wrong. First of all, if I was the killer, why would I kill her in my own bedroom and then say I didn't do it? That makes no sense. That's stupid. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room, in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also injury on her right wrist. The wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. The coin one has been added to the true bullets, selecting a book. Okay. Hey, where did the knife come from? I'm assuming the knife probably came from the kitchen. Most likely. I mean, that's the only knife that was around. <laughs> Yo, this music is bumping. Okay, what's up? Aren't you going to help them investigate it, Chihiro? Um... But I can't leave Junko here. I feel sorry for her. I have to stay with her. Okay. Oh, he's just going to bring us there? So I headed to my room where Saika's corpse still remain. Nice. I prefer to examine the same in my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Okay, we saw the sword here earlier. This is a replica sword I bought back for self-defense. Does it mean it was used to attack somehow? Maybe it was as defense. It was taken out. Yeah, I noticed that earlier too. Yeah, it's taken after the sheath. I hadn't actually looked at the blade until now too. I shouldn't be surprised with clothing gold too. And on top of that, some gold clothing and parts have been handled. Has come off. Okay. Yeah, the handle is especially missing a lot of coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you touch it a little bit. The book of story been added to the truth. Okay. The scratch is on the sheath too. Okay. It must have been made with something sharp. Okay, so definitely defending themselves from the knife attack, I'm assuming. Even if someone used a sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're going to attack someone in a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. I, it could just slide in the middle of the fight. So, wow, the scratch is on the sheath. And we got the key on the floor. That's my key? Yep. There's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. It must be my room key. If I remember correctly, both of you switched keys. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. When we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Saika would, would have had the key, key here in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true, then how did the killer get into the room? Good question. How did they get into the room? That means she must have let them in. How could Saika have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. Yeah, considering how paranoid she was. Seems good, Saika. No matter who it is, don't open the door for anyone. Even if I'm not sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, that's what's the point of even switching? Hmm. I'm saying that there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it. Okay, yeah. No, that's not possible either. Saika was in here when the when we switched rooms, and with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around, so she couldn't have dropped it. Wait, how did the killer? There are Godzilla and like someone attacked it. What the heck happened here? Yeah, scratches on the floor as well. Scratches so on the walls and bed. Is that evidence of a struggle? Yeah, there's no doubt a struggle in here. It looks like there must have been some kind of fighting in my room. Dang it! I was right there in the other room. If only I'd heard something. That wouldn't have been possible. Yeah, because the rooms are soundproof. Don't you remember? All the rooms are completely soundproof. Evidence of struggle has been added to the truth. Okay. We're at the lint roller. Looks like there's way less here than before. Does I could see how dirty my room decided to clean it a up a little? Interesting. What about in here? Is your stuff still in here? Toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't think evidence has been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine, and I haven't had any reason to open it. I can't even imagine a situation where I'd need a tool kit like this. Yo. Oh. Oh yeah, you, you also have a room, yeah. By the way. None of the guys have one of their toolkits yet, cause like why the heck would we? Toolkit has been added to the truth book section of your handbook. Okay, let me talk to you. What do you have to say about this? Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? I try not to make assumptions like that. Absolutely do not know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest is up rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Okay. By the way. You know, I just I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body. I mean, there's a trash room 
here in the dorms, right? They could have tossed some stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely possible. You son of a bitch. Whoa! It's language! Aaron who raises her hand to a woman is scum that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. Okay. So if I find the son of a gun who did this, I'm going to pound his goddamn face in. But what if it was a girl that did it? <laughs> Yo, dude got quiet fast. He won't fight against a girl, so if a girl's trying to kill you, man. Okay, what's up? Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area. But... What are you doing? Yeah, what is she doing? Isn't it obvious? No. Not really. It's not. I'm searching. Searching? For what? She was on her knees carefully inspecting every inch in my room. Did okay. You use a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems so con seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. A few seconds later, she suddenly stood straight up and said, Are you a clean freak? Huh? N no, I don't think so, but what? Now she glanced around the room one more time. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about my room. What's unusual? Unusual? What do you mean? So... I've searched your room, your floor from one corner to another. And I didn't find one single strand of hair. Ooh! Really? Not one hair from the victim and not one hair from you, even though you've been living in here. That's really interesting. Now that you mention it, I know something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roll in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to... I see. Very interesting. The room didn't have a single hair in it, and someone used your lint roll without your knowledge. No, there was someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Nice! Oh, let's actually go into the crime scene. The bathroom. Another side of the store. No, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Dang, poor Sayaka. Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her. Her. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, and the urge to burst into tears. Dang. I... <laughs> but I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sayaka have to die? Why did I... Why I have to uncover the truth? I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse. But that thought held me up and supported me. Let's check the... Hands, yeah. First thing, hands. So myself, I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now it's not time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Yep, sharp thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Saika's wrist is broken. That's the, that's the, that's the, the, <laughs> that's the gold thing on her wrist. Looks swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. There's something that concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood left on her index finger, but that's it. The palm of her, of both her hands are totally spotless, so how come they only left her finger? The stab wound to her stomach is what, the kill is what killed her when she broke her wrist. That must have happened earlier on. I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she had already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Sayaka in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer can corner her to the bathroom, in the bathroom, where they inflicted a deadly wound. A hand... Okay, what's up with the knees? Some sort of sharp object kind of thrust into her stomach. That must have been the killing blow. Whoever used the killer, where'd they get it? That's definitely something I should look into later. I think it's from the kitchen, most likely. What's what's what? This? On the wall? I looked past Saika on the wall behind her. There I saw What? Ran on the blood was numbers 1137. One, it looks like it says Leon upside down. Backwards and upside down. <laughs> That's what it looks like actually. I don't see 137. I, I instantly I saw the word Leon there. So 1103 one, no, that's Leon spelled upside down. Did Saika do this? It would seem... 
Looks like he found it, right, Marikoto? Bloody numbers, that's next least. Yeah. I've never seen something like that written in blood before. Was it really her final message? It's as if she wrote it with life itself. What? Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But <laughs> but the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. 11037. A birthday? <laughs> That's kind of weird. My birthday is November 3rd. I wasn't born in 2007, though. <laughs> the way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting the way we found her, that means she must have wrote them by turning... only turning her hand towards the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what that result would be? The result? Well, Think about it. You'd be stabbed from behind. You're not going to tell me? In other words, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. It sounds like Kyoto, Kyoko knows what Saika's dying men men message means, but honestly, I have no idea. I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, I better ask that ultimate programmer. There's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know about the door to your bathroom got- how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Get stuck? Ooh, she didn't know about that. Yeah, I guess I'm the one, but the door doesn't fit the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked. But once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. What? The doorknob? That means someone broke it forcefully then. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. What did Kyoka say? And... Okay, I shut the bathroom door. Yep, the doorknob's like... Argh! No, it's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Some have used a screw with a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. The toolkit? Whatever, whatever it was, it was. It's obvious this was intentional. What? This was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But our bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? Yeah. She stood there for a while, lost in thought. Then apparently struck it with some realization. She shot a question right at me. Okay, so I'm gonna go based on this. I'm assuming Saika... Someone... So I don't know how someone got in here yet. But she was fighting someone. She grabbed the sword. We know that she used the sword for something. For self-defense. I mean, that explains the goldness on her... The gold thingy on her hand from the sword. She may have gone into the bathroom. She was able to open it up, then close the door. Someone, and maybe she got injured, and then she wrote down the, or maybe no, she didn't write the note down yet. But yeah, I think that she got into the bathroom after the person got in. She pushed them back or whatever. Got into the bathroom, closed it. Then someone will try to open it up so that they could then finish the job. Maybe, possibly. I don't know. I have one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Do you tell anyone about that? Only Sayaka knows about that. Well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. What you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of smirk on her face. I got a sense that she was really starting to get into all that. I'm getting into this. I see. <laughs> then that clears that up. Huh? What clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see. No! I, I didn't get to see the second part of your sentence. I've already given my room a good point one, once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. Okay, I know murder weapon came from the, um, let's go to the kitchen. I already know the murder weapon came from here. Hey, what's up, ow? Hina, or Hina, I have to call you Hina. Yeah, but she did, she did say she wanted to be called Hina. Are you investigating the dining hall? Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. Is this Bruh. serious? This is all the first time for me, you know? I have the first clue on what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me calm. Keep me calm. So I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. You doing what? What, what, what? You doing what? You are just hanging out? In the dining hall? There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big and small, but... Looks like one of them is missing, yep. Was it missing from the very beginning, or...? No, all the knives were there. I better get to see if anyone here knows any more, knows more about it. 
Okay, what's up? What do you know about the knives? So do you notice that one of the knives in the kitchen is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Okay, so we should notice that. I thought that was kind of strange. And now it's just suddenly disappearing like that. So it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. Okay. So when you noticed one of them had disappeared. Well, well I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night. All the knives were still there. Okay. When I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. Okay. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. In other words, you're right he there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night. Which means I didn't take it. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? What? Of course not. I would never. Hina, do you think I murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would kill her in my room and then say I didn't do it. You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her? On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing each other is just a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, I honestly have no idea. Dang. Very strange. So why was Saika in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? You know what? I've had enough of you and your... Okay, chill. No, you got it all wrong. Saika and I switched rooms last night. He didn't even try to hide the suspicion on his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death when you say- Whoa! Wow! Deuce said even if you didn't kill her, you're, st you're still to blame. You know what? I- Ooh, man. After all, she wouldn't have died if she didn't switch rooms with you, right? Gah! The reason Psycho was killed is because I suggested we switched rooms? She's dead because of me? Then, I should it have been me that died? <laughs> He's going to giggle. Well, all we can say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's true, then I... Okay, what's up, Leon? I think you're suspicious as heck, man. Seems like... Unless it's 11 old... 11307? 11037? <laughs> it says Psycho was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Huh? This definitely is my room, but the nameplate has Psycho. They were switched! Yeah! Huh? This is Psycho's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. They place on my room side cousin was switched? So all that for I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Mr. Nagy, what was Miss Nizona doing your in your room? Let me just say this. Most I, I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you think I'm guilty? You're gonna stop me? You're gonna stop me? Let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. <laughs> I'm ready to fight that dude. I'm ready to fight everyone, actually. Yo, screw everybody. <laughs> Why am I so mad? <laughs> that dude made me mad. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious about this trash room, though. This is the trash room, right? Hey, what? Why am I in here? Oh! Okay. The trash room is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. The only person on clean, only person on cleaning duty is allowed past. Who's on cleaning duty? Cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any further. Who's on cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any further. You know, you say the same thing again. I'm gonna smack you in the face. This is stupid. It'd be faster to go around and ask the others. No, no, can't go any <laughs> what was that about? Okay, so there's people on cleaning duty though. Let's talk to you. Since you don't want me to go in the trash room. I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Mm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so formally, so I formally applied for the position. Mm. Applied. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I hadn't had the chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Of course. It's my job to gather up all the garbage and Tasha in the trash room. 
Did you do that? They gave me the key to the trash room mm -hmm. gate. We're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Yeah, very strange. You need a key to get in the trash room, and only the person on cleaning duty has the access to the key. What's the point of going to all the trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can just throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So in other words... If anyone could go in and out of the trash rooms whenever they want, this run evidence would be easy. Oh, never mind. What am I talking about? The thrill would be would disappear, and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, this listen. dude's hype. <laughs> anyway, more important than any... Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Hey, that's an insult. Don't call him that. Why do you want the clean duty gig anyway? Oh, um... I, I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You... I know why you did it. You want to dig through the girl's trash, looking for, you know, poking around at it. No one is thinking like, why are you thinking like that? <laughs> is that what you want to do, Leon? Is that your true, is that your true, like, calling? No Motives? To think about this in a common sense kind of way. Okay, this dude is all about 2D. Respect. You know what I mean. <laughs> to an extent. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I will never get tired. <laughs> never get tired of 2D. Anyway, on another topic, since you were on clean duty, I have a favor to ask you. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or be a boss. Yo, shut up. No, nothing like that. I was hoping to get into the trash room and look around. Okay, nice. So easy. That was. He was like so against the trash room for a second. Now he's all with it. This dude, Leon, though, he really want. He was the one thinking about what was in the trash. You'd like to help me, like to like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh huh. You know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said the killer. He killed his wife. He learned to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Open the damn door. Even we pulled the key out of his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the date. And then, okay, so the key open that. Mr. Naegi, without a doubt. You fiend! You planned this all along. No, I just wanted to see if the actual killer I tried to strain evidence or not. Mm. But the actual killer mm. is you, mm. isn't it? Mm. You want? To... I'm tired of him. Okay, there's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. Torn clothing. Like burnt piece of something. Mm. Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning glove? <laughs> Love, I mean? <laughs> anyway, this is... Looks like a piece of cloth. And the shape of... It's part of a sleeve. A button-up shirt. And now I know what... Now that I look at it, it's definitely blood on the cuff. Which means... This was left to some of the evidence the, the killer destroyed. But there's a lot of people here with white button-up shirts. White button-up... So that's one. He has a white jacket. Okay, that's two. I count that. Three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven people already. There are shards of broken glass scattered around the front of the incinerator. We're thinking Junko's dead, so. It looks like it's been used, so that would make it five, six, five, or six. Looks like it used to be some kind of a glass ball. Just big around. Just are about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. This is the kind of thing you might see in a big city street corner. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that, meet a girl who is on a quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? The only person it could be. Yup, that's, yeah, I'm about to say, the only person who owns something like that is, um, future guy. Green button and yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big mecha mechanism. This is the incinerator. It's way back part of the track. Okay, track. Yeah, incinerator. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And it's on right now? Uh, yeah, I do see them. Yes, indeed. Okay. Green turn on, yellow turn off. <clears throat> Sooner or later, you'll be on clean duty. So make sure you clean clean before you leave. Okay. I'm not even going to mimic that. That sounds like you're right. Yeah, someone turned it on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. 
Even did you realize what you just said? A fairy? No. <laughs> you said the last time you were here, the server was off. Yeah, about that. There could be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if. Yes, as soon as I pointed, I came down to check on the place. Check the place out. It definitely wasn't on them. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the one who has the key to open the gate, it should be impossible to rent for the incinerator to be on, and yet... So that means someone's able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But then how is that possible? They threw the, um, thingy at the thing and then turned it on. It is in... My room, right? Yeah, okay. Previously Sayaka's room, now my room. Or... Her room. Yeah, okay. Bye, bye. Okay, I'm curious to see what her thing is about. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... Let's witness. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, right in center, was the face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with her friends. She says she had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of all the crowd. So full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken. And then, that voice came to despise so much, it began to flow out of the speakers. The ultimate pop sensation. Lead singer for a world-famous all-girls pop band. Mm -hmm. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. Huh. But then... But then... What happened? Suddenly the screen went dark. And the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. I mean, I had a feeling that something related to her thing had to do with her idol group. What the? So I could disappear from the stage, which is now in ruins? But what I noticed even more than that was the figures on the girls who had simply collapsed. This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. Mmm. For Sayaka. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. Wow. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Okay, I guess I gotta graduate for that answer. What the heck? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone who know knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to, to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of peep person would take things this far? Okay, let's make our way to the gym, actually. I think the gym is the last stop anyways. Yeah, let me talk to you first. Now I'll talk to you about the numbers, Ultimate Hacker. I want to ask you about that ball. No, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Yo, snap out of it! Yeah, wake up, man! Huh, Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Nani? <sighs> hey, um, does this look familiar? Mm -hmm, it's crystal ball. But it's all smashed. What the heck? What the heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how did it break? What? Was it actually just made out of glass, not crystal? Did that guy dupe me? You said belong to the pose of history. Okay, okay, I don't care about that. That's not true anyways, man. You got scammed. He said whoever controlled that ball, crystal ball, controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Uh, yeah, let's put that all aside, please. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you? Um. Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. So he left in the laundry room. He left in the laundry room. And someone grabbed it from laundry. That means anyone that could have found out, found it and taken it. Uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started? It's time for the long away. I didn't ask about the codes. Class trial. Now, dang it! Allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. 
Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> red door on the first floor of the school? <laughs> Let me talk to that person Here first about the codes. Let me talk to them. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> the red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Don't you dare cup see me over there. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted to... <laughs> It kind of scared me <laughs> backing up. Is everyone in there already? <laughs> okay. So I, never, so I never did get to ask about the codes. Okay. Not regulation report card. Okay. Yikes. 